what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in brackets now what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in brackets now in this video we're gonna add an oh what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in brackets now in this video we're gonna add an audio element to our page so what i did over here i went to my itunes or you can go anywhere where you're storing music and you can see that i just copied mp3 uh, because otherwise obviously we're not going to be able to add an audio if we don't have an uh, mp3 or audio file so i go over here and obviously i would have to create an audio element and the audio element would stand like this so i close it over here but you can see that nothing is happening because there's no audio being added to my web page right so obviously we would have to use a couple of attributes and the first one we would be the one that we already know and that would be the source so we would tell the web browser where what is the source where we're getting our audio so i'm just going to click over here my file over here however you can see that still nothing is happening and another attribute that I want to show you, which is I think it's really cool, is actually it's called controls. And you can see that you have right now controls. So as I go over here and I just click it, and you can see that music is starting and everything is happening how it's supposed to. So I'm just going to stop it for a second here and I'm going to show you a couple of more nice attributes that you could add. So... So another attribute that we could add is actually called loop and what loop would do is basically right away as we as we finish the song it would keep on playing. So let's let's play it right now here but I'm gonna move it all the way let's see that the size is three three minutes two seconds so I'm gonna put it all the way I don't know 240 58 and now let's see what happens and now I can see that it start playing again. So that's what the loop does. And let me show you one more attribute that we could add. It's going to be called autoplay. And what autoplay does is that you actually don't need to go and press the play. And, but as soon as the page loads, it starts playing. So for that purpose, I'm just going to refresh. And you can see that the moment I refresh right away, the music starts playing. Now, you obviously don't want to do that because you, you want your users to actually play it instead of just every time annoying music starts playing as soon as you come to the web page. However, if you decide that you want to add an autoplay, you have this option. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.